The number one thing that we need to figure out here is what are the tiers going to be called? This will not be a ordinary tier list, okay? This is a streamer tier list, but this streamer tier list will be based on the criteria of how useless they would be in the real world if they never made it as a streamer. If Okay, that's the entire idea, okay? Because I'll be real, dude. 95% of content creators are absolute useless pieces of garbage that got lucky and now they get to play video games the rest of your life you're looking at one right here <laughs> oh i'll just be real dog First of all, let's 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 oh here we go better than ever useless paycheck to paycheck average pogging making the big bucks useless cringe npc pogging big bucks homeless homeless almost broke welfare a nine to five good 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 all right, so we got homeless, welfare, paycheck, paycheck, nine to five, pogging big bucks. Problem is, there's a bunch of streamers on here who have no idea who the f they are. Who <laughs> is that better? If I if I don't f know them, then who? Good, 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 good. This is probably good. Uh, so we're gonna do this, and this is a streamer tier list based on if the streamers never became streamers, would they still be successful? Okay, because I don't give a fuck that you got lucky, blew up, and now you're making millions of dollars. Let's say the 0.000001% chance didn't fucking happen. What would they be doing in life? Would they still be killing it or would they be fucking homeless? I'm going to give you all an example. Okay, I would be homeless. Let's just start that right off the bat. Okay, I would 1 billion percent be homeless because when I started my channel, I said immediately, if I don't make it as a content creator, I don't care. I'm gonna keep doing it until I make it or I will go homeless. If I didn't make it, fuck it. I'd be homeless because I refuse to work for another man, even if that meant destroying my own life because I am not a healthy human being. Now, a good example of somebody who would still be killing it would be one of my close content creating friends, Strippin'. Now, Strippin', uh, if he didn't make it as a content creator, uh, that's okay because he's already married uh, to another famous content creator and he's hot as fuck. So to be honest, he could either be a glorified, a glorified trophy husband. Okay, wait, maybe that's my own perception. Wait, is my own perception skewed? I think it would be cool to just live underneath your wife's thumb as she just works hard every day and you bring her snacks. I, I think that'd be a W life, but maybe that's my perceptions a little bit skewed, but uh, I would love that shit. Like if my channel falls, I'm 100% gonna be my wife's a bitch and I can't fucking wait for that dog. I can't wait. My wife has a great job. I can't wait to be her little slut and bring her drinks and snacks uh, whenever she wants. All right, cool. Listen, chat, you can get ahead in life if you're beautiful and Strippin has that to a T. This man is gorgeous, okay? And listen, people who are attractive never fail. And that's the truth. Next up, 39 death. Gonna be real? Who? Barely had any interaction with him. I have no fucking idea. All right, let's go five up. All right, five up is a man of many 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 dreams and aspirations but to be honest i mean all he would have become was like an among us pro and he wouldn't have become a content creator and being good at among us isn't good for anything besides drinking the among us potion at 3 a.m and becoming the imposter but if you never known as a streamer i don't know i'd probably be some useless among us cock uh with no dreams or aspirations whatsoever or i'm completely misreading the mark and five up maybe you'd become a developer i have no fucking idea i all i know is you for is among us man unlucky rubber ducky Aiden Ross is this the dude who just hangs out with like celebrities and shit like this is the guy right Aiden is, was Aiden Ross known for anything or no he hangs out with celebrities and acts gay okay well then if he wasn't famous people wouldn't hang out with him right so then it probably just wouldn't be anything or what did he do anything or like why did he blow up like if he didn't have clout nobody would hang out with him right so it would just he would just be homeless oh wait he was good at football he was good at 2k <laughs> Uh, he'd be fucking homeless, man. He'd be, he'd be, he'd be, he'd be fucked. He'd be, he'd just be some fucking loser in his basement, eating fucking snacks, playing 2K, which is a dog shit game, anyways. Uh, unlucky. Baru, who? Alinity. All right, so here's what Alinity has going for him. Okay, so let's just get this right off the bat. Uh, Alinity is hot as fuck. Uh, so here's the uh moral moral dilemma of uh, I call it the GGX dilemma. On one hand, people like Greek God X exist and. You know, some of his takes are not that good. I, I just preferred when he was a stream sniper for Tyler One. But on the other hand, 
uh, people like Greek God X do exist, which means Alumni will always have uh, some dude to pretend that they love in order to take all their money uh, until they die and then they collect their life insurance. Uh, so honestly, I feel like hot women uh, will always have a massive dub in the community because at the end of the day, they can just take advantage of some stupid dumb fuck uh, and take all their shit. Uh, Amaranth would be killing it no matter what. This is one of the smartest human beings on fucking earth and they're hot as fuck. I'll be real, their OnlyFans is mid. I don't know how she's one of the top 0.1% of OnlyFans. But other than that, I think she'd be killing it regardless because one, a uh, thing I mentioned before, literally just uh, 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 use men, take all their money. But also her business mind is insane. To be honest, she'd be killing it no matter what. I firmly believe that. Asmongold. Now I will say Asmongold is one of my favorite content creators on this planet. Um, but the problem is, is that he's a nasty fucking loser, just like me. I feel like Asmongold would 100% have all in the same path as I, but on a slight degree higher because Asmongold has one thing that I don't have and that he's actually one of the smartest people I've ever met. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he would still be playing WoW for thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon hours, even if he wasn't making any money of it because he just does Zachrar streams anyways. And I'm pretty sure he has subs unenabled. So yeah, I mean, he'd probably be living off welfare, living in the same house, living the same life, only he'd be, you know, living on welfare rather than having millions upon millions of dollars that he doesn't fucking do anything with anyways. He doesn't do fucking anything with it at all. Bao. Now here's the big thing about Bao. Bao is only one of the dumbest people I've ever met in my entire life, but she is funny. Question is, how much does that count? Because I mean, there there is a whole nother level of just being so fucking dumb, it's crazy. Stand-up comedian? Mm. The problem is, is that female comedians have it really fucking hard, okay? Uh, name me 10 famous female comedians. Uh, and Amy Schumer doesn't count because I said comedian. Uh, yeah, female, or yeah, female comedians have it very, 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 very hard. Bao, I have no fucking idea, but she is a cute girl. <laughs> Oh, fuck. You know what my problem is? Is that my dad has gone through seven fucking divorces with like gold diggers. So I always just see it as a free route. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's the pessimist in me. Like literally, literally, literally. My dad has been used by so many fucking women for his money. It just makes me think that like, oh yeah, bro, if you're hot, just fucking date some old fucker until they die. But I can't tell if that's how the world is or not. That's just my skewed perspective. I think Bao would be fucked. Not as fucked as me. But yeah, I think Bao would be fucked just because she's uh, she's mega dumb and she probably wouldn't realize it. Uh, next up, Bo says, uh, hey, Bo Tez Scissors, I met you once after we talked at length while we played chess, uh, and you said that you didn't know who I was, uh, uh, so fuck you, I'm gonna put you in the who mega lol tier, uh, and I'm not even gonna give you a rating. Okay, so next time, maybe have an attention span longer than a fucking hamster, and maybe I'll rate you in something higher, and if they're reacting to this, they're probably gonna say again, I don't know who this guy is, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it, uh, box box. Dude's a fucking genius, you know? He's he's good at everything he does. Literally, everything box box touches turns to fucking gold. Uh, he's good at SM64, he's good at League, he's good at TFT, he's good at Valorant. Just good at everything. This is one of the people who just exist and they give me self-confidence issues. So I don't fucking know. He'd become like a, a I don't know, he'd become God. He'd become one of God's disciples. I don't fucking know, big bugs. <laughs> to be honest, him streaming is probably setting the bar very low for himself. He could probably cure cancer for all I fucking know. Try chemistry for two days. Dude's a fucking freak in nature at everything he fucking does. Uh, Bruce, drop him off. So this is Bruce, DEO, one of the newest members of OTK. Comment number one, he's so fine. Heart emoji, heart emoji, heart eye emoji. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, who? The fact that y'all don't know who Bruce is, that actually pisses me off. He's in my fucking org, bro. How the fuck do you not know Bruce? Y'all are being so karungo, man. He's so fun. Uh, dude, to be honest, listen, I've talked to Bruce a lot, okay? I've talked to this dude a lot. Gaming is in this dude's fucking veins. This dude, no shot, no shot. Would he have ever worked a real job? No fucking way. No fucking way. This guy's a fucking dork, just like me, who just wants to play some fucking video games, even if that comes at the cost of his own livelihood. 
this dude would 1 billion percent be living on welfare in his family's fucking basement playing fucking whatever weird ass fucking games he plays but zero shot does he ever conform into the real world buddha i haven't met you feels bad i hope one day that i can next up buff pup now buff pup you know she is one of my favorite people i've ever met she's very cute She's very funny. She's very strong. But the problem with Buff Pup is that she is a fucking, she is a fucking furry. She is a fucking furry. And I don't know how much modern society would accept someone of her kind. She's found her niche. <laughs> She's found her niche being a dog on the internet. But I'm not really sure how much her bosses would like her showing up to her nine to five job wearing a fursuit. That is the big thing. The question is, could she overcome that hurdle? Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Peggy doesn't know I was a hentai artist before a streamer. Yeah, but that's a content creator. That's a content creator, Buff Pop. Which means you you couldn't have done it. Which means you couldn't you couldn't have persisted that. You couldn't have pursued that uh, that that fucking career path. Not a dude. You are creating content for people to jerk off to. I think Buff Pop would be fucked. I think Buff Pup would be fucked. I don't think it would work out, man. I don't think her going up to 7-Eleven barking in public, I don't think that would bode well uh, with anybody in her personal life. And uh, to be honest, I think she dodged a bullet. I think she's on welfare tier, 100 billion percent. And if you get mad, unlucky. Rip plus L plus Bozo. Maybe in 20 years. I mean, true? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Sea Dog VA. Sea Dog VA is another person that I consider in the box box tier where everything he does, he's just fucking good at it and he's hot and his voice is sexy as fuck and to be honest i would pay at least 19.99 to have phone sex rp with him at least three times a week if he was one of the operators that i generally call i feel like c dog would be okay at anything he does uh but the other problem is he is like a very ignorant like stubborn person that would probably keep trying to become a content creator because he's not used to failing at anything and if that was the one thing he failed at he would probably keep trying until uh you know the old bones tipped over but i think he would be pogging maybe he would wisen up give up and go on to the next thing kind of like how we gave up trying to be better than me at apex legends and uh went on to the next dog shit game aka jump king which was a great decision for him i, I think uh c dog va would be uh killing it connor eats pants this is a hard one here's the thing connor eats pants he's a nerd right huge nerd aka germ is alt and to be honest i've known connor I I i've hung out with connor in real life i still have pretty much no idea what the fuck he does i've seen him play like kirby the forbidden world and then like minecraft i, I really don't know what the fuck he does no one does okay yeah i i i have no fucking idea uh but to be honest i mean i don't really think he cares about fucking anything and to be honest with his person with his personality which just doesn't give a fuck about anything i feel like he'd be a perfect walmart employee so i feel like he would be doing great working a real job i really don't think he cares about anything that he does and the nine to five would probably be fine uh sayu would be homeless one billion percent all right next we have seer the variety gamer one of my favorite people. One of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite people. Seer, he's a gamer known to play a little bit of variety and to dabble in the variety world. I just think he's so fucking hot. Do you know what I mean? Like he's so VA, that's a form of making content, doesn't count. He's just so fucking hot. How could he fail? He he wins at everything that he does. And Seer's the type of dude, because here's the thing, Seer's dick is so big that every single person that he fucks falls in love with him. So what I think he would do is he would go fuck some like 80 year old broad that he met at a nursing home, marry them, wait for them to die and then collect their life insurance money. So I feel like Seer would be absolutely fucking killing it because Seer is a man who can fill any job, any role, any hole. Seer will be there no matter what. I feel like Seer is the variety gamer. He'd be fucking killing it. Disguise toast. Now y'all may not have known this. I've actually met, I've, I've met at disguised toast in real life before we were doing a hearthstone tournament and this tournament called a uh, good games con i actually also smoked a cigarette next to scar as well um i was there the first ever time he put on his little toast mask and competed in that hearthstone tournament i was actually a part of that tournament and i got disqualified from that tournament but the other thing is i have a hot take I'm about to blow y'all's mind I don't really think that Disguise Toast is really that good at Among Us, okay? Because I've played him in Among Us and I clapped him in Among Us. I just think that Disguise Toast is really good at getting people to think that he's really good at the things that he does. And that is even better 
than actually being good at anything which is why i think disguise toast would be in big bucks tier because he wouldn't need to do anything he would just make people think that he was doing everything and he would be killing it 100 percent double lift you lost to emmy and mizkiff in bot lane as 80 carry you know what i'm not gonna blame my team or my semi-pro 80 carry for getting 2v2'd by Mi mr beast and emru i'm not gonna blame them your grandmaster and you fucking lost to emru and you're a known gaslighter homeless here with me bitch donkey homeless by choice this man's a fucking psychopath <laughs> Donkey is probably in my top five content creators on YouTube. But this dude is so fucked up. Uh, hey, bro, he don't even care. Fuck it. He'll, uh, bro, this man is so destined to entertain. He'd probably be on the goddamn streets in a box by choice, just telling knock-knock jokes to anybody who walks past them. Homeless by choice, Emmy Rue. Now, Emmy is a cute girl, and that does unlock the option of mentally manipulating men to give you all of their money. Do you think homeless how do y'all think homeless how how do you how do you think emmy would be homeless how yeah but she's not really that smart <laughs> y'all think emmy's dumb do you think emmy's dumb i really don't think emmy's dumb i think i think emmy's pretty i feel like she buys everything in ultra mega bulk she's from kansas and was hopelessly addicted to lol are you telling me that emmy couldn't find a dude on league that she could convince to let her be their discord kitten do you know what i'm saying her brain is made of cast iron but as chat said she is quite dumb so we'll put her on the pog tier and i feel like i feel like that's pretty damn good i feel like that's pretty damn good she wouldn't be homeless she'd have a soup house emmy is a once a month streamer yeah and emmy gets more views in one stream one month than i do streaming an entire subathon okay let's calm down and recognize emmy is the queen of fucking twitch bro okay let's let's calm the fuck down there buddy do not shit talk emmy she's a go to this fuck that's sad i don't fucking care enviosity enviosity <laughs> aware spam the moment i say this guy's name chat monka w oh my god here dude why does my chat get so freaked out whenever i talk about this guy dangerous territory oh no 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 <laughs> wait what the fuck chat chat i'm gonna run Genshin streamer oh no not the Genshin frogs dangerous territory watch out oh, okay dude here's the thing okay I'll just I'll just tell it to y'all straight chat why are y'all freaking out bro Jesus Christ they'll come for you Monka Giga <laughs> yeah I don't care who, fu who fucking cares all right, let's be real. Here's what I know about Envy, okay? Uh, so Envy is a cheap motherfucker, okay? He is a he is a cheap motherfucker. Free to play on every mobile game imaginable. And imagine not supporting a, a lowly indie dev company like Hoyoverse to play your games. Honestly, very krungo, okay? And the other games he plays on Twitch, to be honest, he's mediocre at all of them. I think what he did before was play like Super Mario Maker. I mean, to be honest, he'd probably just be fucked, right? Like, did he do anything else? I have no idea. I mean, I mean, I guess he'd be good at saving money. You know what? Yeah, he'd probably be good at saving money. Chad, calm down, dude. Holy shit. Chad, do you really think that I just can't even bring up Envy's name on stream? Is it really that bad? Should I not say his name on... Uh, what, what? Okay, uh, let me just continue it. Uh, to be honest, yeah, Envy plays Genshin Impact, and I think he actually likes it. So you know there's something fucking wrong with him mentally? Because he can play this game, like, 24 hours a fucking day and not accomplish anything. Uh, and he also doesn't spend any money on the game, which, you know, could be considered a smart business decision, or it could be considered uh, cheap. I think it's probably just a smart business decision. The games that he does play, like Valo or, like, TFT or League, he's, like, hard stuck plat on a good day. Uh, so he's not really good at games. Uh, 
but I, he's good at saving money so you know honestly good at saving money pretty okay at things that he does probably just paycheck to paycheck you know what i'm saying probably probably a wise spender this dude would probably be i mean if this dude can play genshin impact every single fucking day and be miserable and be happy with it i mean he can probably be happy just eating water and raw spaghetti every fucking day and just be living paycheck to paycheck it's probably so he's probably fine dude he'll be fine okay did, did i do it is it fine do you think that do you think uh do you think that'll be okay chat is that fine do you think it do you think it, did i do it do you think they're gonna do you think they're gonna come for me or <laughs> it's fine it's fine no you're actually fucking done for all right cool next s fan s fan is a natural born entertainer s fan is a natural born athlete this dude is probably like six foot 300 pounds of raw meat amazing energy amazing dude i think this guy one billion percent would be a motivational speaker if he could not be a content creator i feel like he'd be pogging this dude has a fucking nothing to worry about one, one of the one of the best energies of any person i've ever met goaded fillion would be fucked what the fuck is wrong with you next fob absolute fucking ugly loser coming in his parents basement for the rest of his life next up forcing absolutely fucking fucked life gone literally almost worse than fob frame big bucks because you're married to me baby <laughs> frame could do nothing for the rest of her life and i wouldn't care i would still take care of her I literally don't care. At that point, Frame would be chilling no matter what. She could literally lay in bed for the rest of her life and she would still be fine. I will take care of her no matter what. But you're homeless, not in Frame's timeline. In that timeline, Frame wouldn't have made it, but I still would. She'd be fine. Foosley? I don't know who you are. Who? Girl DM, programmer. Honestly, nine to five, you'd be doing good. Grayson, absolute fucking loser world of warcraft okay another coomer okay eating slices of processed cheese every day so he can grind more classic wow burning crusade arena world of warcraft is a fucking curse that you guys are not acknowledging yet it ruins your fucking life and grayson is no exception he would be fucked greek god x that's my god bro dude it made me so sad man dude greek used to be so fucking funny man bro his content with t1 was hilarious bro it makes me so sad oh, he'd be fucked he'd be he'd be fucked hafu shit i don't know man i have no idea hafu like walks this fine line with like absolute manipulative genius oh yeah bro she would just manipulate some fucking dude to give him all their money i mean she does that shit in among us she could do that shit in real life too she'd be okay i mean let me, let me any any master manipulator in among us will be fine in the real world and she's a cute girl which is another w dude haruka now i do like haruka a lot what do we know about haruka this is this is such a difficult decision because haruka haruka dumb too you know what i'm saying like haruka definitely dumb y'all think nine to five she's canadian dude canadian got some good ass nine to five jobs though cute girl equals big bucks chat tell me one cute girl that you know above the age of 25 that isn't rolling in big bags i mean like a 10 out of 10 on the looks department dude being a cute girl or being a hot guy is the gateway to making money there's even psych there's even psychology about it there's even fucking documented psychology that if you are hot you are you have an easier life it's just the truth. It is just the truth. Sorry, man. How'd it go? I don't fucking know. You have a high tolerance for bullshit. I can see her working 7-Eleven easily. Easily. Bro, yeah, she can sell me a rotten ass corn dog any day. Hassan. Probably we probably would end up in prison, to be honest. Probably. Or you know what? He could just become the next Alex Riley. I feel like Hassan would be fucking pogging, bro. You know what I'm saying? He would become your blow-up doll. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, or he'd become a political activist or a cult leader. And he could probably convince thousands of people to give him money anyway. So he'd probably be fine. I keep it taco, absolute fucking loser. You would play League of Legends all day and ruin your fucking life. Uh next, Iron Mouse. This one's really tough. This is really tough because this is one of the few times where like content creating like truly changed someone's life. Cause I'm sure y'all know that, you know, Mousy has a very hard life, but this is one of the few opportunities where like Twitch and YouTube quite literally changed a very good person's life for the, for the better. And unfortunate enough as it is, it shows the reality because if, if Iron Mouse didn't make it as a content creator, it'd be very, very, very hard for her. Thankfully she did, but the shit that she has to buy like medication is very, very, very tough. So it would honestly probably be welfare. And I, this one actually makes me really sad to think about, but it also goes to show like how great it is that uh content creating can help the people who it needs to help uh, people who have a very hard life otherwise but yeah it's definitely super sad uh jay the bard is a fucking loser uh germa all right cool next <laughs> 
All right. Jerma. Fuck, I don't know. The dude's just weird, man. The, the dude's just weird. Showed up to a smite tournament butt fucking naked. I don't know. Everything he does is entertaining. I mean, I, he'd probably be pogging. He just, he just, he's, he's oozes charisma, man. He oozes charisma. I don't know. Dude, he'd probably be like doing like, he's, he's just a guy who plays simulation games. He'd probably just be a fucking house flipper in real life. Flip one house, he's a millionaire. He'd be, he'd be fine, man. He'd be fine. Joe Fudge. Well, he does have a cute British accent, but unfortunately he plays DND. Uh, so he'd probably be uh, in his mom's basement posting his DND lobbies with his loser fucking friends uh, doing fuck all. Uh, let's put him in the welfare category. Jay Schlatt. I don't know, dude. Honestly, probably fucking homeless. This, this is a hard one, man. This, this, dude, this is a hard one. He's like homeless for sure. I, yeah, he streams, he streams once a fucking year, okay? When he does make content, it's on somebody else's fucking channel. This dude's priorities are fucked but and i would i would say that he could like meet some nice chick and a, 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 a you know manipulate their life insurance money but the reality is he doesn't leave his fucking house so he knows a lot about the treaty of versailles what the fuck is that <laughs> What the fuck is that? I don't fucking know. Homeless. There's, there's, there's no way, man. He, his work ethic is fucking terrible and he never leaves his house, bro. He would be fucked. Versailles? No idea. If he's homeless, he will leave his house, though. That's true. Okay, yeah. We'll do welfare then because, uh, yeah. That, yeah. He would just be, uh, yeah, he'd be in welfare, though. That makes sense. All right, thanks for the heads up. Just a minx. You know what I just realized? Oh, wait, no, she's a fucking... Wait, hold up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's break this down. Now, Justin Minx is a beautiful, but she, she's really scary. You know what I mean? Like, she's really fucking scary. I don't think she would be happy. I don't think she would be happy letting someone fund her life for her. Oh, homeless with nine cats? <laughs> Yeah, agreed. Yeah, she's probably living in some fucking dumpster with her fucking 30 fucking cats smelling like shit. Cool. Next up, Kate Arena. Worst 80 carry and smite I've ever seen. Homeless. Kit Boga. All right. Dude, eventually, here's the reality. Kit Boga would never become a content creator. What Kit Boga does is he he prank calls scam, uh, scam stores. Or, or like he calls like 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 Indian Indian scam phone lines <laughs> and tries to convince them to change their ways by humiliating them on the internet. I feel like he would make a good a good living tipping off crime investigation offices uh by letting them know where the bad people are and would live off of tips and checks from the government like a nice paycheck to paycheck would work canute hogging dude honestly i feel like canute could not stream from this point forward and be the world's greatest most charismatic personal trainer on planet earth dude is dude is a thousand pounds of raw testosterone i see him going to jail how the fuck i mean he would just be a bodybuilder man i mean i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure he's a, he's an olympian he's he's a, he's a he's a literal viking he would be fine man crip fucking a loser playing diablo and hearthstone every single day he would be absolutely fucked okay this is another dude where he is so god damn lucky dude i'm starting to notice a trend that almost every content creator would be fucking homeless if they didn't get lucky that's look that's literally what that's literally what content creator does it monetizes being a fucking loser for example lakari also completely fucked absolute loser if he didn't blow up a, a literal nobody he'd be the weird fucking dudes at the Yu-Gi-Oh store trying to hit on anybody who walks through Lit no mutes no bitches no success he would be fucked lawman now i actually talked to lawman about this last night and he told me some stuff that i can't bring up on stream and because i, I i'm not allowed to bring it up on stream uh, yeah, he'd be a fucking VR chat loser. Uh, getting absolutely nothing done. Uh, Elena Lazar, VR chat loser. Absolutely fucked. Lily Pichu will always be pogging because she has a backup plan, a contingency contract, if you will, which is the Lily Pichu, Michael Reeves connection. Both of them will be fine no matter what because they have each other. And in this timeline, they will be fine either way. <laughs> what, Lena? Bro, you play, bro, you play VR chat. You play VR chat, Lena. You will be, you will would be fucked you dude, 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 dude you play vr chat and you read anime you are fucked no matter what bro i've been a 3d modeler in the industry for 10 years guess what i didn't fucking know that aka you're a loser you're enough you're in the fucking homeless tier and you know what now that i have information it's too late it's too late it's too late you're gone you're done <laughs> should have been here earlier bozo should have been here earlier <laughs> if you don't put me in the nine to five right now i'll roll you hey that's okay dude you and lana can be together homeless and you can share one oculus quest stealing mc Donald's fucking Wi-Fi. That way you can ERP with mutes every Saturday. <laughs> Don't care, bozo. Next lyric. Who? 
I don't fucking know. Uh, he plays games. I don't really know anything about him, to be honest. Lord Athel also has the contingency contract of Neanders. They have won this video game. They have won the video game. They have each other. They have beaten this tier list. They have beaten this tier list. If Athel didn't succeed, Neanders would. If Neanders didn't succeed, Athel would. They would be fine either way. They have the contingency contract. They've beaten the system. This is the one error in my tier list. This is the one error. Uh, Noble, pff, homeless, loser. Ludwig, I love him so much. Oh, fuck, I'm such a Ludbud, dude. I'm such a fucking Ludbud. <sighs> dude, he's good at everything. Handsome. Listen, listen, dude, Ludwig has every single option unlocked. Motivational speaker, he could be, okay? Abusing old women for life insurance money, he could. Charismatic, everything he touches turns to gold. IQ off the fucking charts. He'd be a drug dealer. Making the big bucks, baby. Let's fucking go. Maximilian, dude no idea maya yeah i feel like maya would just talk to chickens all day you know what i'm saying i feel like maya would have her own little farm have her own little farm with her own little sheep and then whenever the sheep accidentally pissed in their bathtub she could just get pissed off at them so then she'd be emotionally fulfilled i'll be real dude i piss in the fucking tub too i make it a goddamn mini game bro i stand outside of my bathroom and i try to piss into my toilet from outside i just that's just dudes being dudes bro that's just guys being boys that's boys being men you know Oh no, she be living paycheck to paycheck, not really making much, cracking eggs, talking to sheep. Mitch Jones, fucking loser homeless. Awful. Zero chance. Literally, literally, wouldn't last a fucking day, bro. Do you ever land it? No, but that's not my job to clean it up, so I don't care. Yeah, Mitch Jones would be fucked. Same thing with my boss. Uh, Mizkiff would be fucking miserable with his life. This is the only thing this guy does. He eats shit, sleeps, and comes content grading. That is it. If he did not make it, he would be fucked. He would keep trying until he went fucking homeless, or he could just go back and be a cameraman for Ice Poseidon, uh, which honestly probably plays pretty decent, so we'll put him at nine to five tier. Yeah, he makes an excellent cameraman. All right, next, Big Moist. Big moist is the enigma he is the enigma of the entertainment industry i don't know why i like charlie i don't know why i like charlie's content uh but i do there's just something about him there's something the way that he talks about anything in his smooth buttery monotone voice that makes me want to listen and i don't know why that is I can't tell if it's just blind luck or if there's a method to his madness. And he was also in the Hunger Games. I feel like Big Moist would be fucking killing it, no? Like, either way, he'd find something, right? I don't know what that something is, but that's not his fault. I'm just too fucking stupid to realize it. Momo, VR chat loser. Moon Moon, no idea. M Tashed. There's one thing that I know about M Tashed. He is much more of a businessman than he is a content creator. Literally. The human embodiment of Corpa. The human embodiment of Corpa. And if there is one thing that I know, everything that M Tash does changes everything. I don't even think this dude needs YouTube, to be honest. I don't think he needs Twitch or to be honest, I don't even think he fucking likes it. I don't I don't even fucking think he likes content creating anymore. To be honest, I think when he stops content creating, it'll probably be better for his life. This is a family man. This is a happy man. And I'm pretty sure he has like 18 degrees in business. So he'd probably be killing it, but I'm not gonna put him in big bucks because he's a little bitch. Next, murder crumpet. Loser fucking homeless coomer. Garbage. Done. Dusted. Useless. More than useless. Completely fucked. You got lucky. Buddy, and I have no idea how we have near the same sub count because my emotes are better, bitch. So you, hey, bitch, you better get them fucking emotes out my goddamn channel because mine are better. And I'm fucking, I'll tell you right now, I'm tired of fucking seeing them. That shit pisses me the fuck off. Get away from my sub count, bitch. Leave me alone. Too far, asshole. What are you gonna do, big bad man? Myth, hilarious, IQ, high, hot as fuck, good at games, charisma, impressions, peak. This dude can do fucking anything and be successful at it. And get this. He's also just a good dude or I'm parasocial as fuck and I've bought into his gimmick. And I'm not sure which one that is because maybe he's just doing an impression of a person who I really like. And he plays Fortnite, which is pretty cool. Nick Merckx. I have no idea who the fuck this is. Next, Nicole T. I'm gonna go on record by saying Nicole T is... I would like to say that I am a married man, okay? But that being said, Nicole T is so fucking hot. It's crazy, okay? It's crazy. The best ASMR streamer I have ever seen. That's just my opinion, though. And she's a hot girl, dude. And if there's anything you need to know about my tier list, literally, Nicole T hits up my dad anytime. 
She's a millionaire. Literally, literally one phone call away. And honestly, if Nicole T were to fuck my dad, I would wear that as a badge of honor. Next up, Ninja. Fucking gone. Done. Nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. Zero. Completely fucked. Instant, instantly done. Okay, dude, this Ninja dude, this motherfucker, th that fucking clip of him in Times Square haunts me in my dreams. Ninja, you got lucky you blew up in Fortnite, buddy. If not, you'd be living on the goddamn street. Okay? I'd be a goddamn cocaine abuser. NMP. Homeless. <laughs> I mean, the dude, the dude is a millionaire and he still looks like a homeless dude, okay? Uh, I don't know what you want me to say. I mean, and and he's best friends with Soda Poppin. And if you don't think that Soda Poppin is gonna be right there, let's be like, get out of the way. NMP and Soda would be homeless together, still grinding WoW arenas, okay? Uh, what, 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 wait, what about, so Veve's homeless too? No, because Veve's a cute girl. <laughs> That's true! Because, wait, no, here's the difference though. Here's the thing. Soda wouldn't have met Vebe if it weren't for content creation because I introduced Soda to Vebe. I am pretty much the only reason why they're together. To be honest, every single time that you see a Soda and Vebe clip, it should have a little symbol in the bottom right corner that says brought to you by Tech Town. Soda might have made every game, but I made his life what it is today. So to be honest, I made Soda pop him. You might agree, you might disagree, but let's be real, dude. I was the gateway from OTK and VTubers, and I was the gateway from one VTuber making Soda's life complete and the happiest I've ever seen him in his entire life. If you count that, then you need to move all other couples. Bitch, this is my list, and if I want a wrong list, I'll have one. I don't give a fuck, bro. Okay, Code, uh, I'd probably be a fucking nerd accountant. Uh, Onigiri. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's hard, man. That's hard. Oni is a very pleasant person to be around, and she's really good at cooking. Oh, God, wait, am I gonna get cancelled for being sexist? Wait, hold up. I say the same thing about dudes, though. Wait, hold up. She'd be a chef. Not in the five chef. Dude, she'd be, she'd be flipping burgers at McDonald's, bro. She'd be popping off. Keep Elena there, otherwise you'd be cancelled. Why? Listen, dude, I'm sorry. If you play VR chat, you're just a fucking loser. Elena, you see that I'm in that tier two, right? Do you see that? You see that, right? I put, you see that I'm in that tier, right? Calm down! Because they're gonna look at the list and think that you're sexist. Why? There's, why? Here, Pokemon, homeless. And now I am no longer sexist. Next, Rich Campbell, fucking homeless, loser, gotcha, addicted, scum. Raffle Gator, worse than homeless. If there was a tier for worse than homeless, this would be it. This is not just homeless. This is the bottom of the tier homeless, okay? This dude would be completely fucked. Honestly, he'd probably be fucking dead, okay? That's just the reality. Honestly, I would probably be there with him. Me and Rob would probably be dead fucking together, bro. We would be fucked without content grading. I'll be real, dude. This dude is also a successful content grader, and he still looks worse than the homeless people I see on the fucking street, bro. And I'm right there with him. That's why we both respect each other, because we both know that we're fucking losers. New lowest tier, dead. <laughs> uh, Rubber Ross is a fucking nerd, and he's good at everything. Hogging. I'm not putting him in big bucks because apparently he's really stupid and I just don't pick up on it. So I'm gonna keep him in the pogging tier. Real quick, type one in chat if you're okay with this tier list. Type two if I've pissed you off. Okay, so we're good with it. We're good with it. Cool, 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 cool. All right, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Sorry, dude, making tier lists like this is kind of nerve wracking, ain't gonna count. Dude, I put Pokey and Homeless and then nobody can call me sexist. It's honestly a million IQ play. See that? It is a, it is a 10 million IQ play. She's my queen. <laughs> Okay, dude. Scar up, homeless, Senny. I said people who made it as a content creator. Isn't this guy just like Mizkiff's mod? Wait, who is this? Uh, cool. I'll just put him in homeless. Uh, uh, Shroud. If I put him in anything but Big Bucks, I'd be fucked. He would just be an esports pro, man. He just wouldn't have a channel. He'd be fine. Trump is a government experiment. Big Bucks. I agree. Silver Veil. I love her so much, man. Silver makes me so fucking happy, dude. She is such a sweet soul. And to be honest, if she didn't make it as a content creator, bro, I'd let her live with me in frame. And she could just be our, you know, she'd just be our professional friend. I wouldn't even care. Bro, if I saw Silver on the street in a little box, I would, I would pick her up, dust her off. I'd give her her own room. She can just stay with me. She'd be killing it, dude. You'd be homeless, though? Not in this timeline, bitch. All right, next. Simply. 
You know what's weird? Simply is one of my closest content creator friends. I don't even know if he knows that. I don't even know if he knows that. But I love hanging out with this dude so fucking much. Uh, and I've been hanging out with him probably pretty regularly since I moved down to Austin. And we just, it's weird because we're both content creators, but we just don't do shit together. And it's really nice because we, we kind of just like de-stress like together and we just like played board games at my house and it's nice or we'll go like go to an arcade or something i, I can't imagine simply ever failing at anything simply would be pogging 100 percent. he's just good at everything he does slick fucking loser uh snuffy fucking loser garbage completely fucked. uh suki uh honestly yeah no welfare for sure welfare for sure plays vr chat but the good the, the thing that suki has going on for her is that she's very good at being cute uh but the problem is that she plays vr chat which means that she's a fucking loser uh summit 1g uh homeless for sure sure for uh fucking loser homeless guy again one billion percent Tarek, no fucking idea the chugs now chugs is a very not well-known streamer but he's actually one of my favorite and the cool thing about chugs wait so we all actually know who chugs wait how many y'all know who chugs is how many y'all know who chugs is uh why is pokey and homeless it's a pr stunt uh chugs would be in the big bucks and out of respect because he wants to re remain anonymous as a streamer and people don't want to know who he actually is i'm gonna put him in big box and i'm not going to clarify but i fucking love chugs dude i fucking love chugs but sure four is not in the esport yeah but he would have failed eventually because he's got baby hands bro all right tim the tap man this dude already looks like a homeless man he would go back to where he belongs one billion percent train wrecks would be fucked he would probably be just as bad as me and rob. he would be there right with me and rob he would be completely fucked he would he would once again be in the dead tier he'd be in the dead tier with me and rob okay Toronto. Let's talk about where Tawana would be. Now, y'all notice every single time I bring up a Genshin content creator's name that isn't M-Tashed, chat instantly starts spamming Monka or Aware because they know that if you say anything about anyone, <laughs> it's so sad that the fucking Genshin community, they're just such fucking pussies, man. You can't fucking say anything. It's crazy. It's crazy crazy jesus christ man it's so bad dude holy fuck every time you try to say anything oh my god Tawano's good at editing videos he would could just ed he would just be an editor for somebody else man let's be real dude the the edits that Tawano does on his videos is what separates him from everybody else right he would just become an editor for somebody else he'd be fine right he would literally be fine next up t1 bro are you kidding me the, dude tyler one is a gift to this earth even better his brother erob which i don't know why they're not on this list because i fucking love that guy dude t1 erob killing it no matter what no matter what they they just they just ooze the cult leader personality vebe vebe is a cute girl and i like to believe that vebe and soda Poppin would have found each other no matter what that being said omega lol get fucked homeless with your, <laughs> homeless with your boyfriend <laughs> Oh, homeless with your fucking boyfriend. Have fun sharing a box. How romantic, Vienna. Now, before before I rate Vienna, I want to know where do y'all think Vienna would go? Too much CBD if you think T1 is better than Germa. Sorry, man. So here's the thing. I know where I want to put Vienna, okay? I know where I want to put her. But here's the thing. Vienna's the type of person to get bothered by a dumb tier list that means fucking nothing. Which is why I really want to put her in homeless, just because I know it'll bother her, dude. <laughs> I know it'll eat her up. To be like, why did you put me in the homeless tier? I, you know, I have a lot of certifications. And I was really good at working my job before I became a content creator. I just don't get it. <laughs> it would be so funny. It would be so funny. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, I want to put her in homeless just to fuck with her so bad. Hey, fuck it. Hey, we them boys. Homeless. Homeless. Fucking homeless not good no, i can't fucking do that she'd be working a nine to five she'd be chilling bro she'd be chill fuck i really wanted to put her in there whatever man also don't clip my vienna impression actually please do it send it to her <laughs> i can already imagine how she'd take it bro it's too real i know vienna too well bro she's so pretty i met vienna in real life too she's a peach <laughs> oh yo Vienna what's up baby yeah what'd you think <laughs> I wanted to put you in homeless so bad I wanted to put you in homeless I couldn't I couldn't dude what do you think my choice Vienna defend yourself I had my certifications ready to send in chat you're absolutely right that's what I'm saying I fucking knew it I fucking knew it dude 
I know you too well, bro. I know you too well. Just because I know it'll make you happy. Hogging. But yeah, big bucks. Yeah, you own the big bucks. Look at that. See that? See that? See that, Vienna? I got you, bro. I got you. You you can chill out on the big bucks. Nah, this is too cool. Nine to five. All right, next. Wait, here's your two. Here's like two dollars. Put it on the homeless tier. I can't, bro. My only certification that I have a fat ass. Prove it. All right, next. One tab. Big bucks. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, oh little one tap, dude. Oh, what a cute little guy, dude. I love one tap. You know what I mean? There's just something about him that makes me happy. Uh, homeless. All right, cool. XQC, uh, fucking dumb homeless idiot. Uh, Zentrea, yep, dumb and homeless. Zoil, dumb homeless fat idiot, just like me. Uh, and we can eat the same chicken sandwich at McDonald's that we'll have to share every single day. Uh, and that is my tier list. Now, here's the part where we go into audience participation. Here's the audience participation part. Chat, I'm going to open this up to the audience. It's time to phone a friend. Do you think I fucked up anywhere on this list? If so, who and why? If you did, let me know and we can and we can debate it. We will debate it. Hold up. Okay, let's take care. Rob is too high. Okay, I got you. We will introduce the fucking dead tier. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Where is it? Yep. There it is. Big guy needs to be higher. Where is Jace Lad? You think Jace though would be higher? Tell me why. Why is Sayu homeless? He has a job right now that's not streaming. Just because I like bullying Sai. I don't know. When he yells, it's funny. <laughs> Can't read it? That's the point. That's the point. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Zoyle. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Good to see you, bro. Doesn't Schlatt own gamer subs? Does he? Does he? Emmy's way too high wrong emmy isn't high enough xqc needs to be lower he is quite literally in homeless tier you want me to make you want to make xqc fucking dead why is pokey homeless when she can be a good businesswoman i will not be defending my choices on this list hey I, I wouldn't hey I, I, I wouldn't be homeless bro how the fuck do you figure how do you figure crazy that this guy is making the this tier list <laughs> this wrong oh yeah i would be rich yeah fucking right sonny yeah, fucking right, bro. I'm just letting you know, my hentai job was like 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh, really? Send me the hentai that you made, buff, and I'll be the judge of that. Okay. Suki, she's known for orchestrating gang bangs. They would definitely want her as a manager for Pornhub. Therefore, the big bucks. No way. Techno, what would you be doing right now if you weren't streaming? All right. <laughs> Suka, Suka. Haruka needs to be higher. Fucking why? I ain't exposing my old shit. I'll draw a dick for you if you want. Draw me an egg. Motherfucker! Wait, wait mother... How the fuck do you say mother... How do you say motherfucker in British? Hold up. English to British. Translate. Motherfucker. Mother. Mother! I got a degree, bro. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. T1 lives in the trailer park, even though he's a millionaire. Yeah, good for him, man. Good for him. Homeless by choice. In film and TV. Yeah, dude. No. Hey, sorry, buddy. Should have told me before the list there, big guy. Should have told me before that, big guy. Jay Sled is super smart. Okay. All right. Any Lana should be nine to five. Artist and business co-owner. No, because I know this would piss Lana off, so I want to keep her in the homeless tier because it's funny. That's the whole reality. Okay. You always gotta slap somebody in the homeless tier just to just to piss somebody off. The man who just translated mother to Chinese and a British actor is definitely qualified to make this list. It's called making a bit, Vienna. It's called doing a bit. Okay. So, hey, 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 listen, 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 Vienna. Listen, Vienna. I'm not a cute VTuber, okay? The only way that people are gonna see me is if I make a funny joke. So I have to do dumb shit sometimes. That way people clip me. And the worst thing is nobody even clipped that moment. That's the worst part. And I can't just be a cute VTuber yet. Yet. I'm about to fucking take over this goddamn platform as the world's number one VTuber. <laughs> Nick and Soda in dead tier. True. I agree. Good point. Okay. 
Asmongold is nine to five. He worked for the IRS before starting his YouTube. He would have quit when World of Warcraft, uh, World of Warcraft Classic came out. He would have quit. Just because he was working for the IRS doesn't mean that he would have stayed working for the IRS. My juicer would be the world's best toenail eater. Okay. Bob has a nine to five. A nine to five of what? Being a little bitch? He would be in the homeless tier. Why is Momo homeless? Because Omegalol. Where is Sykuno? Probably in the dead tier. Still couldn't afford to pay. Dude, Sykuno's a multi-millionaire that still can't afford to play his water bill. He would be dead. Any other suggestions, comments, or worries we have? XQC dead. Pokimane Kim uh, Katerina would make OnlyFans before going homeless. I told you to make OnlyFans before homeless here. OnlyFans is creating content. Oh yeah, Mitch, dead. What do we think here, boys? What do we think? Any other suggestions or are we good? Bow would be a paycheck to paycheck if she finished her degree. She wouldn't. XQC's way too fucking high. Dead. Law and dead tier? Dead. <laughs> okay. What do we think? S fan and big bucks because he's a cute girl. Okay. That makes sense to me. Where would Shy Lily be? She would probably be in big bucks uh, performing as a phone sex operator. Crumpet equals dead with Rob. Yeah, they coomed in each other too fucking hard. ERP and they both died. You owe me 200K. Put me higher. I took off 20 bucks. I got you, baby. Top of the big bucks tier, baby. Huge content. Huge content. Dude, we are now at $168,980 left. Pay back to the boss. Huge, 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 huge. All right, chat. What do we think? What do we think here? All's fair. Move Pokemon and dead tier for equality. Okay. I am a firm believer in equality. Okay, she's fucking dead. I'll add it to the Excel sheet. Thank you, Miss Giff. I appreciate that, homie. I'm pleading my case. One second. Buff, I'll call you. I will call you. All right, Buff, go ahead. Defend yourself. Okay, well, as you can see, uh -huh. I'm very busy. All right. Okay. I'm putting all my business paperwork right now because you don't think I can work a nine to five. So this is all my previous jobs. Mm -hmm. I'm putting in cash, mm -hmm. right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> so, so why, why don't you think? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> why don't you think I can work a nine to five? Because I don't think anybody would hire you, Buff Pup. Why? Because nobody wants anybody rolling up in a fursuit to 7 Eleven. Listen, I don't have a fursuit, okay? Those are expensive and I'm poor, as you stated clearly. Okay. You don't so have one? Why wouldn't I get paid? You don't have one? Next question. You. There's no <laughs> way you don't have one. Either you or Shia, you have a fursuit, a billion percent. Why do you think that? Isn't that like a requirement to being a furry? Who says I'm a furry? <laughs> you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I mean, Soda Poppin has a fursuit. Yeah, but he has like a shitty one, doesn't he? Are there good ones? Yeah, they're like $5,000. And that's why you will stay in the homeless chair. All right. Chat, what are we thinking here? Put Kara Row in big bucks, Mr. Streamer. You got it, dude. You got it. Techie, Silver Veil is too low. Give her the Silver Veil tier. Oh my God, she's not going to fuck you. Unless you got it. Any other, any other points we would like to argue? Listen, Greek would be dead from a heart attack because she would still be 400 pounds. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Okay. In what fucking world am I dead with you? <laughs> What's your right between us there, buddy? There it is, big guy. We're both fucking dead together, baby. Get me out? Okay, well, where do you think you should be, bro? Literally nine to five? Why? Why? Also, if any of y'all are offended because your favorite content is on this list, don't blame me. I didn't make this. Frame dead. Blame her. It is not my fault. It is not my fault. Good law. I'm ready. I literally told you yesterday. Yeah, but if I can't tell chat that, then you're going to stay in the fucking dead tier, bro. You can tell chat that. So here's the thing. So law thinks that he should be in the nine to five tier because he used to play the stock market. Okay. But I'll be real, dude. If this dude can't even fucking get a mute in VR chat as a successful streamer, ain't no shot he's making good bets on the stock market. Okay. He's fucking dead and he's fucking cope. Any other people who we would like, who we would like to uh go out and vote on here. Put five on dead. You got it, baby. J Slat nine to five. He, yeah, and the worst thing is, mutes make fun of law for not having a mute. Even Mika Moonlight makes fun of Law. He's getting kicked while he's down. Put Forsen on pogging? Why? To be honest, I don't, I don't, Forsen would end up in jail a billion percent. Why is Bruce in welfare? <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh my god. Isn't Kit Boga pretty smart tech-wise? Yeah, but you know what? He'd probably be fucking dead, actually. No, yeah, he'd probably be fucking dead because the fucking Indian scammers probably would have tracked his IP address and fucking gunned him down because he wouldn't be able to afford the good security system and countermeasures. Yeah, he'd probably be fucking dead. Wantep is 17, so he still has a home from his parents. Yeah, but in a couple of years, bro, he's, he'll be out of there. Check Discord. <laughs> hey, law. <laughs> all right, here's the thing, all right? I would be... I was easily, easily on track to become a 9-to-5 depressed, like fucking stockbroker, all right? Yeah, but, depressed. That's why you're fucking dead now. Well, <laughs> hey, it depends how far in the future this tier list is. Like, if I didn't have creation for 20 years, maybe you're right. But, like, uh -huh. for the 10 years, dude, I'm set. And the thing about mutes, right, that just adds to the depression. Okay, if I can't get a mute, this means more depression, which means I focus more on my job and my money, which or, means I realize it doesn't give me happiness, and then... I'm dead in 20 years. But 10 years, bro? You gotta put me a nine to five. How about this? I'll leave it up to chat. Chat, type one for fucking dead. Type 738,417 for nine to five. <laughs> okay, dude. Chat doesn't fucking know me, dude. <laughs> who, do, who the fuck do you think you are, chat? You, you sit there, you type your fucking one because your Mr. Streamer tells you to. Are you fucking kidding me? You don't know my accomplishments, my achievements, my intellect. You know, I was fucking reading at a goddamn college level in fifth grade, bro. All right. I have I, I, 130. All right. You guys are pathetic. You're worms. Type that long number they said. All right. And put me in fucking nine to five tier. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do that, big man. Hey, yo, Kraken's in my chat. Don't you say that guy's cool? Yeah, I love Kraken. Oh, yeah, PM, can you tell me he's a cool dude? Where would you put Kraken in this tier list? <laughs> uh, if without content creation, I, I gotta put him in like welfare or, pay, or, or paycheck to paycheck. I'm not sure. Kraken, I wanna let you know, I didn't make this tier list. My wife did. I had no say who was in it. Frame decided everything. Be angry at her. Did it make your wife, Scott? Hey, I'll start the hate <laughs> thread right now, buddy. That's it. That's enough. Do you disagree with any of my choices here, Law? <laughs> yes, like every single one of them, dude. Should they all be fucking dead? <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude, if I'm dead, everyone's dead. I'm taking everyone out. <laughs> Alright, tell me one person you think game. should be fucking dead. I'll take them out. Um, I don't. I actually don't understand uh, the Nyaners or the Lord Aethel. What what what's like their contingency plan? I, I only caught like a little bit of that. Why? So in I these... think any VTuber, any VTuber should be homeless. Okay, instantly, so... including Silvervale. In Nyaner's timeline, she's the only one that's homeless, which means okay. she could leech off of Lord Aethel. What does that mean? That means Lord Aethel is still a successful content creator, just Nyaner's is not. <laughs> Wait, so he, he would just... He would just be a trophy husband. Okay. That's why Freeman's well, in the big bucks tier like too. That doesn't... I don't know if that's fair though, right? Why? Because then you could just say, I don't know, fucking Mizkiff looks out for Seer anytime, you know, or... Yeah, but he wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, but you, you, theoretically, you can theoretically be one, right? Yeah, but Seer's not a cute girl. True. Also, Seer was in VR last night. Yeah. Okay, you just said earlier, you said I can be in 9 to 5 because of content creation, but Mr. Lord up there is supposedly up there because of content creation. What kind of standard is that? I call Seer. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm saying Lord <laughs> Aethel would be successful because he would still be dating Nyanners. Who can be a content creation in that timeline? What I was successful before streaming. So what do you mean? Yeah, but I don't I care, and it's funny. <laughs> well, L, I gave you. I L gave tier you list, evidence. dude. L. I'm gonna make a tier list of people's tier lists as they do this, <laughs> and then yours is gonna be an F tier. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just saying, like, if you don't understand the timeline mechanic, watch Steins Gate, <laughs> and maybe you'll understand. It's a really good anime. I recommend it. Uh, you really just don't understand the timelines and the canon uh, possibilities of theoretics here. Um... <laughs> Listen, chat, if you want proof, I've already sent it to Techie in DMs. I already sent it, okay? It's not my fault he doesn't want my proof. Did you just make that? Yes. And how long? It took me two, um, two minutes. I'm telling you, that was my job beforehand. Nine to nine. I'm telling you. Buff made us this in two minutes. <laughs> oh, but Buff wasn't successful as a fucking drawn hentai or whatever. <laughs> Can I? Like... Nine to five, please. You're being bumped up. 
Thank you. Nine to five. Oh what, 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 my God. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So. <laughs> oh, it's, that's a new it's emote. Like definitely, it's part favoritism because you just got a new emote, but also oh, yeah. partly because they showed their skills, right? <laughs> oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, okay, your... so should I just show you my fucking portfolio or what? Because, uh... Yeah, pull it up. Let's see it. <laughs> all, right, all right, I'm going to roll it out on stream, bro. Right, let's see it. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Lena is now sending me their portfolio as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm surprised you put Lena where she's at because literally she owned a fucking business before she was a streamer. So I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay, she had a whole business. Yeah, but she's not in the call and she only sent me a DM on Twitch. So, <laughs> eh, that's fine. I'm going to go and pretend that I didn't see her uh, DM because she doesn't want to join the call. So, fuck it. Listen, man, can you just put me back in Homeless? I don't want to be next to Rob. That's literally my only desire. Fixed up. <laughs> okay. Is that better? <laughs> Fine, you'll be in that much. All right. I've done my part. I'm out of here. All right, cool, peace. All right, chat. What are we thinking here? Over and shut? Or do we need to debate anybody else? Oh, yeah. Now that we're not in the call. There it is. All right, cool. What are we thinking? <laughs> what are we thinking here, boys? Sayu dead. <laughs> okay, why would Sayu be dead? Pokey would be making money. Listen, chat, I've already told you. Pokemon is in the fucking dead tier. That way, nobody can cancel me on Twitter. I do think that Pokey should be in the big bucks tier. But out of sake of my own skin, I gotta put her in the fucking dead tier. What do we think? Are we good? Type one for good, type two for not good. One good? We take those. Strip in! You're welcome. I put you in top tier. You're fucking welcome, okay? Don't ever ask me for a favor ever again, buddy. Don't ever ask me for another favor again. 